So now we're getting things ready to to uh, chrome plate, I guess you want to call it. I just got copper pipe in here that's bent over. Uh, brass wire attached to the parts are going to be chroming. Um, you could use copper wire as well, but in the manual it says brass is the best to use. So I'm just making sure how it's going to sit in here because in the solution here, I got my plates already stuck in and uh, I just got to add water to that, heat it up. Um, add the right amount of mixture to it and uh, it should take about five minutes and then do like a little spray with this stuff. Um, that's not exactly what it is, it's just mineral water in there but I needed a container out to flush out. And then we go immediately from there if it passes into this tank and then we start the process of heating it up for at least, or say chrome plating for at least an hour and then we'll see how well it works. We're checking to see if the pH level is right. It's testing at 3.8 and according to the book we should be at 3.5 to 4.5. So we're right in the ballpark for the right pH to make the solution work. So the temperature is up to about 190 degrees. I got my parts sitting in there now. This is the uh, what you call a cleaner solution that cleans the metal. Uh, it's got to sit in here for five minutes and then we do like a little spray water test and then it tells if it speeds off or flows over and if it passes we go to the next part which is the actual plating it so stay tuned so here we are finally doing the chrome process I got my amp set up I got about 44 square inches which is about 1.2 amps according to the calculation um, the agitator is going the solution is mixing the temperatures at 70, about 77 degrees, it's supposed to be around 70, but it's the best we can do. And now it's just sit and wait for an hour and see how well this stuff works. <laughs> 